going on everybody it is your girl turtle and i am back with another movie star planet video before we get into today's video i want to let y'all know i was locked out of my msp account for a whole week i only have like four more days left though um i also didn't have my internet so like it's like really hard for me to like make videos right now but it's back on so i should be all good now um i will be still doing selling some of my art like on the art books i, I think msp deleted like two of them though so i have to remake some of them um, I guess I using, was using inappropriate language is what they got me for. I don't know why. I think someone might have reported me for some reason just because someone was hating on me for trying to sell my stuff for money. But I am still selling D-Pack, D-Pack singles, rares, rare weeks for money. Some of them might be missing from this art book already because I've probably sold some stuff. But I will definitely still be doing that. So just hit me up. I will make sure to leave my Discord and my Movie Star Planet Instagram in the description down below. If you guys are wanting to uh, cash at me money to get rares. But let's go ahead and move on to the actual video for today. This is the art book I am going to be showing you guys today for this segment of the video because I cannot actually enter Movie Star Planet sadly right now because I'm on four day, four more days of lockdown. So, <clears throat> so, um, I accidentally added this into my other video with the uh, scammers and pedophiles and stuff. Uh, I didn't mean to, so I literally put like a big box in front of it. So if you guys see that, it's because it's this picture. I wanted to make a separate video for just this picture alone. So, uh, I did get permission from him. <clears throat> I forgot what his uh, user is, sorry. Uh, I have to pull it up. <laughs> but, uh, I probably am not even going to say his user, though, even if I do find it, just out of respect. But he did give me permission to do this uh, video. He <laughs> told me to make sure to let him know when, he, when I finish it. Uh, this is something I really want to address. Like, I do a lot of addressing videos when it comes to scammers and pedophiles and hackers. But this one, this one is really going to be taking the cake this time. So, I guess there, so, this is what he basically said. This is honestly disgusting. If you think, sorry, if you think this is okay in any way, you're absolutely wrong. As a person who grew up in a toxic home with mental health issues, I could say for people to fake this is a laugh in the face. People who lie about something this serious and say they want to unlive themselves. Like, you definitely have some issues you need to deal with 100%. It's just sad. If anyone is dealing with any issues, don't be afraid to come talk to me, but don't lie like this because it's really not a joke. Mental health needs to be taken seriously. You lying just because you wanted to, you wanted me to talk to you, that's a joke. But feel free to report this girl and hit me up if you ever need to talk. So basically what happened, this girl, Beach Chick 1031 basically messaged him and lied about her life, basically, and was making it seem like... Things have happened to her that didn't happen, basically. So she said, bro, it was all a lie. I just wanted you to talk to me. I wasn't raped or beaten. Most of my family is adopted. So the biggest thing for me is the fact that she lied about being raped and beaten. That's not something to joke about at all. Because, like, <clears throat> there's people out here who have really been raped. Sorry about that. I don't know why. It said there was, like, an error. My bad. Anyway. But lying, there's, like, people out here who have been really raped and stuff, and people don't believe them. They think they're just crying wolf. And don't get me wrong, guys and girls can get raped. And it's a really, like, the thing is, I have never been personally raped. I have been objected to, like, almost being raped um, by someone. Um, luckily, I was able to get out of that situation, which I will talk about in a separate video on my own, like a like the time that I almost got raped or whatever I'll make a video on that not right now though because this happened actually recently to me a couple months ago um but I'm telling you right now just the feeling that it gave me when I almost felt like it was about to happen to me it was really like terrifying like I didn't like I, I literally my first instinct is if he got any closer I was going to grab something and stab him with it because I was just so worried and I could only imagine like if that made me feel some type of way like I'm always looking over my shoulder I'm shaking all the time I'm scared I could just imagine how someone feels actually being raped Do you know what I mean especially if you're a young person I know my audience is like ages between like 10 and 18 so like y'all are about pre-teens like mid-teens most of y'all should know what rape is. 
And it's really not something to joke about. It's not funny to joke about that shit because it actually happens. And, you know, especially, like, uh, if you're a pure person, like, you've never had intercourse with anybody and someone rapes you, they're not only damaging you, like, mentally and physically, but they're taking something that you cannot get back, which is your purity. And that really sucks, especially if you're, like, a really good person who has done nothing wrong and then someone just takes something so special away. You know, there's a lot of people who wish they wouldn't have given away their stuff, but imagine it just being ripped from you like that. That's just messed up. And then for someone to lie about being raped and beaten, it's really, it's really messed up. It's really messed up. Because you should not lie to someone like that just so you could talk to them. You could talk to people without lying. Lying gets you nowhere. It's like what everybody always says. Um, like, the truth always comes out in the end. Uh, whatever happens in the dark always comes to light. Like, it's not funny at all to be joking about this stuff. And if you think that joking about this stuff is funny, then you really do have mental health issues that you need help with. For real. You have mental health issues if you think this is funny. And if you think this is funny, then you need to leave this video right now. Like, this this is not funny. Um, <clears throat> I just want this to be awareness for the fact that it's not funny to joke about something that actually happens to people. It's really messed up. Now, I come from a family where, like, I do have a pretty good bond with most of my family and stuff. But it doesn't mean I don't have my own issues I deal with and stuff. I have anxiety. I have depression. Um, even at one point, back when I was like 17, I had suicidal thoughts even. And it's not fun to deal with that kind of stuff because of things you have to experience in your life. And everybody, of course, has to go through their stuff in life. But you should never have to lie about going through stuff. You know, everybody has to go through certain things for a reason. But... <laughs> You should never lie about it, ever. Don't ever lie to someone about something you're going through just because you want to talk to them. Just talk to them. If they don't want to talk to you, then just take it as it is. They just don't want to talk to you. You can't force people to talk to you by faking something that didn't happen. And then also, the whole being beaten thing is not funny either. Like, rape is even worse, but beating is still bad too because... There's women out here, and even men, who get abused every day by their significant other, and they don't even know how to walk away from it. I mean, for example, look at Johnny Depp. Look what he went through with his wife, his recent wife. I don't, hopefully they're not together. I think they're going to get divorced if they are divorced. I'm not sure. I haven't really read much on it. But, like, look what she did. She caused so much suffering on him, but even when people started finding out about it, they still were trying to, like, make it seem like, like, they, like, it was all on, like, it was, they're her side, basically, and making it seem like he didn't, he wasn't a victim to anything. I mean, he almost got released from some of his movies because of it. Like, they were going to kick him off the Pirates of the Caribbean and everything. And, you know, Johnny Depp is known for his work. He's a very good guy. He's very friendly. He's funny. Like, he's super sweet to people. And the fact that, that someone tortured him, basically, that he loved, is disgusting. And just, the whole being raped and beaten thing is just disgusting. Do not lie about this stuff. Please, 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 if you guys want to report her, I have no problem with that. That is up to you. But I just want to make this video, that way you guys know that it's not funny to do stuff like this. And as someone who's going in for, like, studying psychology and sociology and stuff, as that as my major for college and stuff, it's really not a funny thing to talk about. Like, it's like, uh, you guys have no idea some of the stories I've heard already. And there's some people who end up, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, there's people who end up killing themselves over this kind of stuff. If you've been raped or beaten, there's people out here who've killed themselves over this stuff, who have hanged themselves, who have jumped off of something, because they just can't take it no more because of the pain. 
Now, not only, like, like I said, if you guys have ever experienced anything terrible like this, you guys can also come talk to me. I am so happy and open to talk about you, like, talk about your experiences with you. And whatever is said is between me and you. Unless, like, you know, that like it's between me and you. Like, nothing will ever get spilled out. I'm not that kind of person to talk about other people's business unless I have their permission to. But please, 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 please do not ever lie about being raped or beaten. Please. It is not funny. <laughs> it's just completely wrong and disgusting. And if you are that kind of person who thinks it's funny and you're friends with me on Movie Star Planet, please unfollow me, unfriend me. I do not want to be friends with anybody who finds this stuff funny because it's not. If you guys, <laughs> sorry, my allergies are acting up. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Make sure you guys comment down below. Um how you guys feel about this situation, like this topic in general. I want us to hear you guys' thoughts about it. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications so you guys don't miss any more videos by me. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. And be kind to each other, please. And be honest always. Bye.